there was a stranger in town, and that stranger was me. I was there to meet Fred Brophy, Australia's last tent boxing showman. Fred now owns the Krakow Hotel in outback Queensland. Well, ten years ago, my wife said, what are we going to do down the track? And I said, well, we'll do something. She said, well, what are you going to do? I said, well, what do you want me to do? She said, well, you're going to do something. And I said, well, why? And she said, well, ten years down the track, you'll have a boxing tent full of holes with about ten broken down fighters. And we're going to have to earn a living. And I said, well... What should we do? She said, well, what do you want to do? I said, well, I never had much of an education, never went to school much, so uh, what about if I get a pub? And she looked at me and laughed. She said, a pub? She said, you're always in pubs. I said, that's right. That's the reason why I want to get a pub, because if I get a pub, it'll be $1,000 a week we'll be putting in the bank, because that's how much it costs me a week. So if I get a pub, I'm the best customer. We only need two or three like me, and we, we can earn a good living. She laughed head off and said, OK, we'll get a pub. So we said, we'll get one in a town, an unusual place. Um, where a pub is a pub. When the Brophies bought the pub in Krakow, it was a gold mining ghost town of about 20 inhabitants. Krakow's glory days were back in the 1930s. It had a population of roughly 3,000 people, but due to no permanent water source, it became a ghost town in the 1970s when the gold mine closed. And even to this day, you can still wander through the empty hospital. The abandoned courthouse. And the derelict picture theatre. The Brophies seem to have a golden touch. Sandy, Fred's wife, explains. When we first arrived there was a drilling crew here looking for gold and it was speculated that maybe they would find gold and apparently they did find some interesting hits of gold and within two years, three years, more and more people come out with the mine and had a look around and people would say to us, you know they might open the mine up again which is a bit like saying, you know, you might win lotto so we didn't really go with any of that. but. Eventually they found enough samples to warrant opening the mine and at the moment we've got quite a, a nice sized mine here. Uh, maybe a hundred miners, uh, going between a hundred, hundred and forty miners and they've been here for the last two years now so that was just one of those lucky things you'd never believe was going to happen but it actually happened. Sandy believes many city women looking for love should give the outback a go. I have lots of friends in the city and they're often saying to me, oh, I can't find a, um, a boyfriend, a good bloke. They're just hard to find and I can't believe that. I live in Man City where you've got 90% men here and they all work, hard workers, got good jobs, good pays, lovely people. I just don't know why there aren't more people in the, in the outback looking for partners and jobs and that. It's lovely living out here. The Krakow Hotel is a real Aussie outback pub. You can write your name on the walls, hang a bit of junk from the roof. They are a unique aspect of Australian culture. I asked Fred, what makes a good Aussie pub? What makes a good pub? Get rid of all the dirty rotten poker machines for a start and, uh, and have everyone talking to everyone and, uh, and, and mixing with everyone. You come to this hotel here and uh, you can get in a bar and anyone will talk to you. It's not like you're in Sydney or Melbourne or something like that. You go and ask someone a question in a pub down there, they think you want to rob them or something. Up here, it's just a, a good friendly hotel and you can walk in here by yourself. Because a, a hotel's a social thing. You can walk into this pub here and, and also someone will talk to you, you have a conversation with someone and someone will have a drink with you, someone will buy you a drink. Which that doesn't ha happen at very many pubs at all. You can leave your wallet in the bar and come back the next day and it'll still be there. You leave your change there, no one's going to knock it off. And a good pub is a good pub, like this is a good pub, it's the only pub you can come to and have a good time without taking any clothes off. 